we may not be getting an episode nine trailer during the Super Bowl after all. You're fulfilling your destiny. So obviously spoilers for Star Wars shows in this video. If you don't want spoilers, turn back now. Also, Star Wars is dead to you because I don't know why you keep clicking on Star Wars videos then. First, MakingStarWars.net released more leaked information on the TV series The Mandalorian. Previously, they mentioned the Mando's costume changes as the series progresses. The Mando suit uses Scarif Trooper parts, and as the series goes on, he has Death Trooper parts. Which I'm actually really stoked for. I did a video on Death Troopers. I think they look absolutely amazing. That being said, their source says the Mando's armor won't be black though, but more towards chrome, which is a little disappointing. Though I did enjoy Phasma's looks, so maybe it won't be too bad. New information from them states there is a secret enclave of Mandalorians that the hero is affiliated with, and there he interacts with an old woman who is an armorer that is key to his armor upgrades, which will happen through five stages. Making Star Wars and their sources don't know exactly how much of his armor is Mandalorian and how much of his armor is from his adventures, such as they know at some point he fights a bunch of Death Troopers, but they don't know how much of the Death Trooper armor is part of his armor. Now, they also believe this enclave will help to build Mandalorian culture, though they aren't sure how much further they will add to it. It'd be interesting if they built on what Rebels and the Clone Wars did, but we'll have to wait and see. Lastly, they reported that original trilogy aliens will be back in this series, which... Thank God. I'm all for new, interesting aliens, but sometimes it's okay to be a basic bitch, Disney. If you're itching to see some footage from this show, supposedly Disney is going to show it to their investors on Investor Day on April 11th, and perhaps at Star Wars Celebration. If you can't be at either of those for a variety of reasons, don't worry, likely it will be leaked onto the internet almost immediately. So I wouldn't worry about missing out. Thank God for the internet. And sort of random news, Adam Driver is still filming scenes for Kylo Ren slash Ben Solo, according to Spike Lee. Not really much more than that besides they should be done filming in a few weeks, and then they're going to continue with reshoots probably all the way through spring. Also because JJ tends to film in order, this probably means Kylo makes it to the end of the film, or end-ish, but I don't think that was really in question. Next, an individual who claimed to know a guy that works for CBS has been told there will no longer be any ad spots during the Super Bowl for Episode 9 footage. Supposedly, the slots Disney held were voided and claimed by Pepsi when they failed to produce footage by the January 19th deadline. Because of company policy, CBS, regardless of how much money Disney can throw at them, can't go against Pepsi claiming their voided spot. However, nothing has been finalized yet, so perhaps Pepsi, Disney, and CBS can work something out. I personally don't think we need a Star Wars Super Bowl trailer, but I don't watch the Super Bowl, not even for the stupid fucking commercials. Just put it on YouTube, Disney. Okay, next, Star Wars Celebration released a poster, and it's kind of epic. This feels like what they said they were trying to do, tie all the trilogies together. I hope this is art they use in the future when they package all nine episodes together. Though, where is C-3PO? Disney, you dizzy bitch! C-3PO is a big part of Star Wars. Why would you not include him? And I don't want to say that this was a mistake, but it would be worse if it wasn't that you actually did it on purpose. So I guess I just need to assume it was a mistake. Otherwise, yikes. We now have a full description of the new Star Wars novel coming out, Alphabet Squadron. And if you think that is a stupid name, it kind of is but it's because the team flies different classes of starfighters. In this novel that takes place post-Return of the Jedi, General Hera Syndulla sends out the five members of Alphabet Squadron to track down and destroy the mysterious Shadow Wing, a lethal force of TIE fighters enacting bloody, reckless vengeance. Oh, and of course the squadron has an Imperial defector. Rebel propaganda. Lastly, news from Jakku is teasing Episode 9's title. Apparently, it is right under our nose and it rhymes? This could be complete BS, but interesting nonetheless. Makes it seem like just like how The Last Jedi title was in Episode 7, Episode 9's title could have been in Episode 8. It could be too on the nose for them to be talking about this clip. Still looking to the horizon. Never kill. Hmm? The need in front of your 
knows? Whatever the title is, we're being told that it won't be anything positive or happy, so looking to the horizon is kind of neutral. I don't know. It seems a bit positive to me, but we'll have to wait and see. All right, so there's some Star Wars news. Disney, can you please give us some more info on Episode Nine, Like, soon? Thanks so much for watching. Please like the video and subscribe for more Star Wars videos.